This is the 2018 Math Kangaroo Levels 1112 Prom Number 21. The prism in the picture is formed of two triangles and three squares. The six vertices are numbered from one to six in such a way that the sum of the four vertices of each square is the same for all three squares. Numbers one and five are already shown. What number is at the vertex labeled X? A, two, B, three, C, four, D6 or E. The situation is impossible. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start we, we know that we have six vertices that are numbered from one to six in such a way that the sum of the four vertices of each square is the same for all three squares. So we know that we're starting with this, these six numbers that we're going to be placing on the vertices. Let's start by finding the sum of the numbers on all the vertices. That's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is equal to 21. Now let's try to figure out what the sum of the vertices on each of the three squares is equal to. Because again, we know that the sum for each square is the same for all three squares. So let's see. Let's add the numbers on this square with the numbers on this square with the numbers on this square. Well, as you can already see, when we do that, we're counting each vertex two times. We're counting each one twice. Well, we already found the sum of all the vertices is 21. So in order to find the number, the sum on each square, we should take 21, multiply by 2, and then divide that by 3 because each square has the same sum. So 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14. Each square should have a sum of 14. So let's go back here to the square that we're looking at because we already have 1 and 5 and we're trying to find x. Well, if we know the common sum is 14, we can do 14 minus 1 plus 5, because we have 1 and 5, so that's 14 minus 6, which is equal to 8. Whatever number is at this vertex plus the number here at x must be equal to 8. So let's take a look again at the numbers we have. We've already used 1, we've already used 5. So how can we make a sum of 8 with the remaining numbers? Well, as you can see, we must be using 2 and 6. That's the only way we can make 8. So now we need to figure out, is it 2 here or is it 6? Let's start with 6. If 6 is here, that means 2 is here. So now looking at this square over here, we have a 6 and we have a 5. That's a sum of 11. So we need the sum of the that vertex and this vertex to be 3. Well, there's no way we can do that because we've already used 1 and 2. So we cannot form another sum of 3 using the two numbers because we've already used 1 and 2 over here and over here. So that means that x cannot be equal to 6. So that means that it must be equal to 2. And let's just show how that works. So if this is 2, this is 6. And then if we look over here, we have 2 and 5. That's 7. So 7 plus what is equal to 14? That's 7. So we can have 3 and 4. And these two can be switched. But that's not what we're trying to find. We're just trying to find that x is equal to 2. 
This is answer choice A. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.